welcome to another reading vlog. I'm Max. I usually read and we will be reading. I haven't been reading for the past two days because I just haven't. Like I get home, I'm tired and I don't read. So now is the weekend, time to reset, time to read. I'm currently reading Just Kids by Patti Smith and I want to make some progress in this during the weekend so that's what we're gonna do it's the end of the workday now and usually i try to not leave the house on fridays after work and just have a really chill like afternoon night and just not leave the house but i need to run some errands so we're leaving the house and running those errands that's it. That's the agenda. Let's go. Hello. Good morning. Today we're going to brunch, but it's more like after lunch because it's at 2 p.m because one of my friends is working and she can't earlier than that so yeah that's the plan for the afternoon and then i'll come back home and chill and read and watch a movie and yeah all right i'm gonna leave for brunch now here's the outfit just this jumper white jeans same old bag and same old shoes. Yeah, let's go. Yesterday, I did go to brunch with my friends at Bread and Friends. The brunch there was really nice. One of the nicest brunch there I say I've had in Lisbon. It's It was really good and a really nice price. It got to be like 15 euros each because they have like this brunch deal for two people that is 30 euros. And it was like the most inexpensive brunch I've had and simultaneously the best one, I think. It was really good it came with avocado toast egg um a little side salad with the egg and the avocado toast a pancake a fruit or yogurt with granola uh in like this supreme croissant that was so so good and yeah i'd highly recommend it was really good then we checked out cinemateca i hadn't been there before that's like the history cinema type of place they have a bookshop there with books all about cinema they have like a restaurant area they have a cinema theaters i've never watched a movie there but i really want to they show like really old movies. Sometimes they'll show recent ones, but it's mostly like classic cinema, I would say, from all over the world. And I find that really interesting. I got the program for February, as you saw, and I'll probably see what I can, what movie I think it's the most interesting. I haven't been there yet because every time I look at the program, I'm like, I don't know a single film in here and I don't know which one to go to see but i think i'm just gonna pick a random one and go it's really not that expensive i believe it's like three euros and a half 350 um for a movie ticket at cinemateca so maybe they'll be in the cards for february hopefully 
I haven't read much and today I don't really have a lot of free time because I have some stuff to do so we'll see. A little bit of a reading update because I have been reading just kids by Patti Smith. I didn't make a lot of progress but I did read the first couple of chapters and I am enjoying it but I can't say I am loving it. I am finding it very interesting because the thing I knew about Patti Smith is that she name drops in her books like it's her job and I mean I guess it is <laughs> but um, I didn't know anything else. I'd heard she has really good writing style and skills, but I didn't really know anything about her in her story. And she she been living on the streets for a while. <laughs> also, like she's old. She she be older than my grandma, and that is funny to me because clearly <laughs> I'm. At the beginning, I haven't been reading a lot, I didn't have a lot of free time to speak in and I probably won't be doing a lot of progress during the week because I never do but I'll take this up and I'll continue the vlog for the next weekend where I hopefully will have some free time and I can finish this. So yeah, that's the update. It's Saturday now. I don't know how many days it's been. I think the last I spoke to you was maybe Monday night or Tuesday night. I have no idea. But what I do know is that I did absolutely nothing this week. I just worked and went to bed. Like I, I didn't do anything. I managed to go to the gym on Monday and Thursday and Friday so that makes me feel a little bit better because at least I was doing something for my physical health <laughs> but I just I've been feeling so tired all I want to do is get in bed when I get home <laughs> but yeah it's Saturday afternoon because because it is yeah because it is we're gonna sit down and read now that's what we're gonna do we're gonna sit down we're gonna make some progress we're gonna do things for our brains Asian art this morning because it's Sunday and on Sundays in national holidays the museums in Lisbon I'm not sure if it's all of them but it's most of them they're free for people that live in Portugal and I just haven't taken advantage of it and I think that's a very stupid thing to do because like I would complain that the museums were too expensive and that's why I didn't go but in reality they're free at least once a week and I still don't go and I was like you know what I'm I'm changing that this year I'm going to all the museums 
all of them. I mean, maybe not all of them, because some of them don't really interest me, but like a lot of museums, I have a lot of curiosity, just like to know what's in there, because I've never set foot inside of them. It was a wonderful Sunday morning activity. I will be doing it again because it was very enjoyable for me to just leave the house, like be my be my myself. I tend to only leave the house on weekends, especially in winter. Like in summer, I will leave because it's nice weather. I don't want to be stuck inside, but in winter, I will only leave if I have plans with friends. But I want to change that. So I went to the museum. I had a really nice time. It's not, there was a lot of paintings, like a lot, a lot of paintings with religious motives and themes, which was to be expected because it's Asian art and religion was a big, big aspect of those people's lives. It's not my favorite, but still there was stunning, stunning pieces, masterpieces, just beautiful. If you're thinking of coming to Lisbon and don't know what museums are worth it, I would say this one is worth it. Then I went to Salted Books, which is an English bookstore near the museum. It's like a 10 minute walk and I've been meaning to go. I follow them on Instagram and I just hadn't gone because it's actually kind of out of the way for me. <laughs> um, but I really wanted to see them and to see the store and all the book selections they have. It's so immaculate, immaculate choices. I love that space. I thought it was wonderful. I didn't buy anything because I'm not buying books at the moment. <laughs> but maybe one day I'll go in and I'll buy something. <laughs> and I'll talk to you tomorrow, probably. <laughs> it's Monday now. Excuse the outfit. I'm going to the gym in like two hours in my lunch break. But I just wanted to close out the vlog. I haven't read as much as I would hope to, and that's okay. You're not always gonna read a book a week, even though that is the goal. It's okay if I don't. This vlog has been going on for like two weeks. I have managed to read 100 pages. This is about Patti Smith and Robert Maplethorpe in New York in the 60s. Oh, I'm still in the 60s part, <laughs> but I believe this goes until the 80s. Um, just making a living in New York and not having a place to sleep in moving around hotels with a lot of people, a lot of people in the same and worse situations than theirs. And it's really about being a struggling artist in New York in the 60s. It's like vibe in that way. I don't want to say her life it was vibey in the 60s when she didn't have money to eat. But she'll say that and then she'll describe her life in New York aside from that. And it's like it's vibey, it's New York in the 60s. It's really about struggling artists struggling to create art, to make a living, to make it. And it's about that in their relationship about the time before Patti Smith was famous. This has taken me a lot more time than I was expecting, but I am enjoying it. It's a memoir, so really there's no saying it's good or bad, but Patti Smith can write and it's really maybe just my mood. I don't know. But yeah, that's where I'm at with Just Kids. You'll see my progress. <laughs> in another video I guess but I have been reading this even though it doesn't seem like it it's just been a slow progress I hope you enjoyed this vlog and that you had a good time here thank you so much for being here and for spending your time with me and I'll see you in my next video bye